cold wind rustles through the leaves as a young boy asks his grandfather, Grandpa, why are we here? The old man, weathered by time and wisdom, smiles gently and says, Ah, that's a question as old as humanity itself. We call it existentialism, the philosophy of existence. The boy, curious, furrows his brows. Existentialism, what's that? It's a philosophical theory, my dear boy, the grandfather starts. It suggests that we, as humans, find ourselves existing in the world, and then make our own life's meaning or purpose. You mean we create our own purpose? The boy questions eyes wide with wonder. Exactly, nods the old man. Existentialists believe that life is not about destiny or fate written in the stars, but about the paths we choose to follow. They argue that we are free agents in a universe that doesn't have a predetermined purpose or moral order. The boy contemplates this, staring at his worn-out shoes. But Grandpa, doesn't that make life meaningless? Not at all, the grandfather chuckles. On the contrary, it makes every moment precious. It means every choice we make, every action we take, shapes our life's narrative. If life is a blank canvas, then we are the artists, free to paint whatever we wish. But what if we make mistakes? The boy asks, looking up at the old man. Mistakes are part of the process, part of being human, the grandfather answers. They teach us, help us grow. We stumble, we fall, but then we rise again, stronger and wiser. That's the essence of life, my boy. The conversation ebbs and flows, the young and the old exploring the depths of existentialism, a dance of questions and answers, of curiosity and wisdom. In the end, the grandfather summarizes their discussion. So, you see, existentialism is not about finding the meaning of life, but creating it. It's about embracing our freedom to choose and understanding the responsibility that comes with it. It's about recognizing that our lives are not written in the stars, but crafted by our own hands. And as the sun sets on the horizon, painting the sky with hues of orange and purple, the young boy and the old man sit in silence, their minds brimming with thoughts, their hearts full of newfound understanding. The philosophy of existentialism, once an enigma, now a beacon of enlightenment, guiding them through the labyrinth of life's existential questions.